try this. There we go. Okay. Ana, ¿cómo estás? I'm fine. <laughs> ocupada? I'm here. Yes. ¿Estás ocupada? Sí. Always. <laughs> Siempre, sí. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. Great. Okay, so, cuéntame. ¿Cómo fue la semana? ¿Cómo estuvo? Estuvo, estuvo la semana. Arlo, how was your week? Busy, busy. Not with the things I want to be busy with, so. Oh, no. <laughs> Everything okay? Oh, yeah. No. Todo bien? Okay. Are you still looking at Panama? Very definitely. Excellent. That's part of what's going on. Okay, good. I'm happy to hear that. Excellent. Okay. So what does it take to... Are you planning on moving to Panama or just part-time? Moving permanently. Okay. We have that. our permanent residency there, so. Uh-huh. Wow. And remind me, where, where do you live now? Up in Arizona, just across the road from you. Okay. That's <laughs> right. I, I had that feeling, but I get so jumbled. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Good. Hey, Pete's back. Hi. Yeah, you have to tell us uh, how it going. Como fue todo? I've been, I've had a cough ever since I got back. Right <laughs> back from. Other than Costa that, Rica. things went well. Un tos. Un tos. Tos is cough. Sí, un tos. Yeah. Mal. Aprendiste mucho en Costa Rica? Uh, sí, no recuerdo mucho. <laughs> <laughs> Olvides, olvidaste mucho. Aprendiste y olvidaste. Fue divertido. Uh -huh. I'm sure. Awesome. I'm sure. Great. Good. Um, all right. Let's see. Anybody new? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, try and turn on your uh, camera if you can, folks. There's Hillary. Hola, Hillary. Sí. ¿Cómo estás? Manish, good. Isabel, Charlotte, Babu, and Julie. Okay, probably be a couple more. Anna, how are we doing? Um, you can talk a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more? A little bit longer? Okay. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> um, Hillary, cuéntanos. Uh, ¿Dónde vives? ¿Y ¿Por qué ya estás aprendiendo español? Um, ahora vivo en uh, Estados Unidos, en el estado de Carolina Norte. Ok, bueno. Bueno. Y mucha gente allá que habla español. Un poco. Es muy difícil porque no tengo uh, amigos uh, espadi espadiores uh, ah. para practicar la um, conversación. Ok. Es por eso que estás aquí. La mayoría de nosotros uh, somos uh, hablantes de inglés. A veces hay, hay algunos quien habla español. Um, Ana es de Nicaragua, siempre está aquí con nosotros. ¿Me entiendes? ¿Me explicas? Do you understand what I'm saying? Sí. Okay. So, um, we don't always have a lot of Spanish speakers here at this meeting, but we do help connect English speakers and Spanish speakers to practice together. So, hay muchos hispanos que quieren practicar con nosotros. Ken. Hello. James, how are you? I'm um, well. Are you wearing a suit? Oh, uh, yes. It's cold. It's snowing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to protect from cold. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you might have a big major business meeting. No, it's just the winter I wear, you know. <laughs> uh huh. Que bueno. All right. Looks good. Looks good on you. Thank you. All right. Mr. Roseboro, so happy you're here. 
Good, great. Okay, be here. Um, Pete, fill us in real quick. What what was what was the best? What was the worst? Or what was in what was interesting? So if uh, everybody doesn't know, Pete went to um, Argentina <clears throat> and then Costa Rica, right? Sí. Uh, Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. And then yeah, and no, we... and then uh, Colombia. Oh, Colombia. Sí. Uh, right. Okay. Not yes. Costa Rica. Colombia. Right. No, I'm sorry. Costa Rica is my dream. My dream destination. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, fue, been... fue a un clases de Spanish immersion. Mm -hmm. uh, vive, viví con una familia para por dos semanas. Y, dos semanas. Y oh, ellos no hablan inglés. Nada. Nada. Uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Esto. Um, yeah, saw many sites, uh, uh -huh. went in caves, uh, paraglided, zip lined, <laughs> uh, Good. tried all kinds of Colombian food, beer, a lot of coffee, excellent coffee. Good, um, uh, it Thank was you, fun. Andrew. I would, I would uh, encourage anyone to try it. Um, yeah i would also they, they they assumed i knew more spanish than i do yeah. <laughs> unfortunately cuando but, cuando uh, empieza a hablar en español ellos responden con todo sí ta, 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 ta. ellos ta, ta, ta. ellos hablan rápido <laughs> Como, <laughs> sí ellos hablan muy rápido sí. muy bien okay <clears throat> all right uh well any questions today um, tengo una time. pregunta sí. um, cuando uso cuando usamos rápido contra rápidamente um it's just like in english something is fast uh like something is quick versus quickly um uh -huh. so uh, rápido is is quick or fast. Quickly, uh, rápidamente. You can try to remember that rápido is for an adjective to describe someone or something. And rápidamente will be an adverb. Um, it's um, it's modifying uh, the verb or the action in a sentence like... Um, el, uh, like uh, el tren viaja rapidamente, okay? You know the verb is travel or is uh or 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 uh, or he drives no, quickly. Uh, quickly, quickly, rapidamente. Yeah, el maneja rapidamente, okay? Mm -hmm. But versus el rápido, you will be describing that someone, for example, run fast or or is doing something fast. Uh, I'm not sure if this helps, but remember rápido for um, like an adjective to describe something or someone. And rapidamente is just an adverb uh, that modifies the, the, the verb. The verb. Mm -hmm. I was trying to say the same thing, but without using adverb and adverb. Yeah, but, yeah, but I have noticed that... Uh, where is he? Manish. Oh, yeah. Manish. I didn't see that. Manish, Manish. Uh, knows a lot about grammar and he understands this concept really easy. That's what I use it. All right. Explain okay. to him this way. Tilt your camera down, Manish. We can't see you. just the top of your head. That's much better. Much better. Okay. Carol, where have you been? Everywhere. Oh, yeah. What's the yeah. latest? Um, I came back. From, well, the latest is I'm, tomorrow. I'm going to London. Okay. Uh -huh. But I've had I've had a lot of computer problems, and um, <clears throat> now I seems my WhatsApp seems to have disappeared from my. I change computers, and that's I hate doing that because there's always something that gets falls out of the mix. Uh huh. We can relate. We worry about that uh, when we get uh -huh. those blue screens and we think the computer is dying. And it's like, oh no! And, and yesterday, I think I maybe got maybe got scammed from a quick. Well, I don't know. Oh so, no! Yeah. We'll see what happens. 
So <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be back briefly okay. tonight, <laughs> and let's see what I can do when I'm away. Okay. Well, safe travels. Yeah. I have been talking with um, Diana and uh -huh. Diana and uh, Raquel. Great. Raquel is está aquí. Bueno. Mm -hmm. Hola, Raquel. Yes, I am here. Ajá, <laughs> Gracias a Dios. Buenos días. <laughs> That's not it. Excellent. Good. Okay. Entonces, uh, listos? Everybody ready? Anybody else want to make a comment or tell us anything? Yeah, what have you guys learned in the last four weeks that I, I missed and how can I catch up? Oh, these were the best four weeks of like the last I know. Years. I, I, I know. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, the replay is Bryce. What did we learn in the last four weeks? Your memory is way people. better than mine. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to, I'm going to. Oh, God. Not be able to make good on that proclamation about the memories. <laughs> I did it. I asked a hard <laughs> question. Him right under that bus. That's right. <laughs> uh, man, I can't even remember what we did last week. <laughs> um, and it has I mean, after a while because these meetings start running together. You know, we we do them. Um, do. Yeah. Well, keep redoing them. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have been putting the replays into Facebook and uh -huh. uh, also on YouTube recently. Okay. Um, so you can have a look. And what do I do? What, how do I get when the on the YouTube? Yeah, what do I, yeah, just I seen through? them on YouTube. I I seen the la last week's on YouTube. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. I'm so trying to do that. Share link on YouTube. Or is that how I do it? Yeah, just look for sure. Yeah, so. yeah, just in search. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and okay. uh, a lot. I'm trying to do both. Um, a lot more people have access to YouTube than Facebook, so mm -hmm. trying to do both. But, you know, it depends on what tomorrow is like, <laughs> how busy yeah. I am, right? And how I get that done. There, Anna's already put the channel up on YouTube. Thank you, Anna. Okay. Okay, no. <clears throat> Muy bien. Okay. Isabel, ¿cómo estás? Bien. Bien. ¿Todo bien? Sí. 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 Excellent. Good. <laughs> estar aquí. Okay. Bueno. Um, entonces, listos? Sí. Okay. Um, Julie, Charlotte, anything? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, Bryce, uh, <clears throat> I hope we're doing Become and Became because that's yes. what I told everybody yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's what we're doing. Just one, uh, okay. a, a couple of things I just want to say about uh, this subject is some of them are ones that you can use for more than one thing. Um, so, but what I'm saying is don't let different verbs that mean become confuse you. Now, some of them have more of a distinction than others, but sometimes you will hear like, for example, hacerse. Um, sometimes people will uh, use that for something that's quick or some or change is quick, or sometimes they're using it for a change is gradual. Now, some of them have more of a single distinction, but I, th I think one of the biggest things to take away, well, at least for listening purposes, is when you hear uh, one of these verbs, you automatically know what it means become. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you don't have to make the distinction of, oh, what? What become what particular become now you know you don't have to make that distinction so all right so some of them you may hear people say two different things use two different verbs for the same kind of example but don't let that <laughs> you know don't let that um confuse you mm -hmm. all right um <laughs> I'm trying to decide here. Uh, Anna, do you... Okay. I want to do the book. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share screen. Uh, let's share. And share. Okay, and I need to change the view.
All righty. Uh, so we are working on Become and Became. Uh, and it's it's pretty similar um, in, to English. I think it'll make sense what, what's happening here. Uh, who would like to begin? Does everybody know how this works? Everybody's comfortable? I'll try it. Okay. Okay. Se volvió loco comprendando joyas caras después de ganar la lotería. Um, se volvió. Comprando. Think, she, she went crazy buying ju expensive jewelry after she won the lottery. Loco, it's a guy. He, the loco. Oh, it was loco. All right, not loca. Um, I <clears throat> assumed. Um, I just... <laughs> that's a that's a fair. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> James assumed the same thing. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, so see how all those words kind of change places. Yeah. Um, yeah. So became crazy, went crazy, got crazy. Uh, there's several different ways in English to um, to have that idea in your mind, right? She changed from not crazy. He changed oh. from not crazy to crazy, right? Yeah. Became. He became. All right. Uh, there's, yeah, went. I'm going to also add uh, got. He got crazy. <laughs> went crazy, became crazy. Okay. The point here is volvió is one way to indicate a change. Right? From one state to another. <clears throat> yeah. What I wanted to say is just everyone keep in mind that for the purposes of making other sentences, it is, um, it's volverse, it's the reflexive form. Just, Se volvió. Just keep... mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Se volvió. Okay. And a lot of times volvió is used, uh, you know, volverse is used, a lot of times it's used for negative purposes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Negative changes. Uh, as in, he didn't do something, or he did something negative. No, like ne like. Well, I mean, like. Okay, that's a good clarification. Uh, uh, like for something negative, something bad, like someone went crazy. It, you know, that's generally looked at as a you know something not a good thing for that person. Uh -huh. You know. Uh huh. Right. Not all, but it's not only used that, but a lot of times it is used. It is Excellent. Used negative. Okay. Numero dos. Let's see. Ella. Uh, read the uh, read the English first. Okay. She became it. she became rich. She became rich very quickly after she started a new business. Aya, uh, I don't the word became, say, say, um, a muy, think say, of, think of uh, I said, it's the verb I said. I said, I said, um, the past I said, tense. past. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 no, oh, yeah. Also, yeah. muy, muy cara, muy cara, rapido, después. I just got a mouse, you know, I'm putting out traps. Cara, muy, muy, muy rapido, después. Mm -hmm. Uh, después, uh, empezar, empezar, de empezar, uh, 
commissaire, impresa, impresa, impresa nuevo. Un negocio. Un negocio. Un negocio. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. It came out. Un negocio. Nuevo, un negocio, or a negocio nuevo. Un nuevo negocio. Nuevo negocio. Hmm. Is it muy rica? It doesn't yeah, um, that I in English. That, uh, yeah, very quickly. Uh, muy rápidamente. Yeah, but in Spanish, muy rica, muy rápidamente. It's very redundant. Right, but uh, so we and, use and in English both, also. We will use one Just say, only. Just say hizo rica. But se in, hizo rica. in English, rica it says, rápidamente. It says <laughs> became rich, not very rich. Yeah. yeah. Muy yes. rica. Then se hizo rica. Um, se, yeah. se, se, se hizo rica Rápido. rápidamente. Yeah, se hizo rica muy, yeah, muy rápidamente. Es, es, yeah, rápidamente. Okay, rápidamente, because it has the mente, I think oh. implies it's very, mm -hmm. all right? Very fast, mm -hmm. very Rápido. quickly. Okay. Okay. Hey, I'm yeah. Linda. Why isn't yeah. it? Why don't you? Why wouldn't you use the same pattern as you used in the first sentence? Ella se volvió rica. Uh, you volvió? can use yes, it. That's the, okay. Oh, oh you, you can, can. You can. Yes, yes, you can. You can say okay. ella se volvió o ella se hizo. But uh, keep in mind that we are using the different use. We are learning the different yeah. uses of um, become in past and in present, and so you will hear both hizo yeah. o volvió. Okay. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. You're going to hear people say two things, but don't let that. I read you know. my Yes, yes. No, no. I, sometimes I the, what these <laughs> words, there is a subtle differences, you know, and, and there is some uh, significance and uh, nuances. Uh, when we, you know, we can use bobi, bober, se hacer, se convertir, or for become or you know use right. the past tense to became are there any difference that we need to pay attention to that in certain situ under such certain situations that you just don't use a word in that context if there's anything like that that's what i would like to pay attention to i do the the next one will clear up a little bit more the, oh. yes can i do the next one Sure. Um, but okay. uh, so, Hillary, yes, we're going to go through. Uh, uh, you know, Bryce has done a lot of the things where there's more than one option. We'll try and include more than one option. But I think the answer to your question is uh, um, we're, our goal here <clears throat> in both languages is okay. to kind of give people an idea of what's most common. And when things are equal, like equally mm -hmm. used, uh, we we try and add, like we did in the first sentence, Okay. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's pretty equal. If we only put in one option, it doesn't mean other things are wrong. Like Anna just okay. said, Anna just said Bovio is also good. Um, okay. But we'll try and give you the most common. Okay. All right. So it's better you... Was that you that said you wanted to do number three? I yes. think it was this seven. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Um, se convirtió en doctora hace diez años. She became or turned into a doctor uh, the past 10 years. In the past 10 years. 10 years, years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I say the eight años is uh, the most common way for for them to say 10 years ago uh, when, uh, she did, yeah. when she did that. Mm -hmm. So now I wanted to say uh, convertirse usually is more of a, a, a more gradual process rather than just something that happens all of a sudden. But, you know, so 
just just keep that do you in mind. do you have something further down that's like he got fired 10 years ago or he you know something like that that was instantaneous or should we play with that here in number three well if he if he, if he was fired i would just say no it's yeah but i you're what well, to your point that um se convert se convertir all right is something kind of gradual is there an example further down of something that was more instant um what Anna? uh you seen convertir also no i was just trying just, we become we became but with another word that yeah. that's what you mean no we convert here specifically not with convertir specifically okay well something can happen quickly like if there's a quick change um as far as the, the jaw as far as this is concerned um you can use Llegar a ser, but that's kind of you can use that kind of the same same way. Um, but but normally a a, a job uh, becoming a, a you know a certain position or whatever, I just I would normally use just okay. use convert here saying. All right. If he became supervisor after ten years, he would use um convertir say, or if he became president of the company, you would use el convertir, el convertir say. In un presidente, después. Se convirtió en presidente. You can yeah. use it. You can yeah, use also yeah. in that se volvió presidente. Okay. In that, in that, with that example, you can use both. Se volvió presidente o se convirtió o lo hicieron presidente. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. Yeah, he became very sad because of that documentary. Oh, can I try that? Yeah. yeah. Um, me pongo muy triste uh, por eso documento. Documento? Almost. Okay. It's not a document. Documentario. Well, document. Okay. 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 Okay, so read what Anna's written here. Um, me puse muy triste por ese documental. Good job. Say documental. Documental. Yeah, so in Spanish, it's it doesn't have that U. Doc, U, it's just docu. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll do the next one. Mm -hmm. We ready? Después de ocho mm -hmm. años de trabajar duro, finalmente mm -hmm. llego a ser generante. After eight years of hard work, he finally became a manager. Yes. That's it. Uh, the word is, uh, say that last word again. I thought you'd catch that. Gerente. 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 Gerente? Yes. Perfect. Gerente. Okay. Good job, Chad. Thank you. All right. It's getting late. Such a short sentence. Mm -hmm. Causing problems. <laughs> that is a good one. Well, clearly we're learning something. Mm -hmm. Está haciendo tarde. Está se hace tarde. All right. So try and make this just roll off your tongue. Se está haciendo. 
o sea, sí, 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 está, sí, está, sí. se está haciendo tarde. Mm -hmm. se, se está haciendo tarde. Se hace, se hace. Se hace tarde, I like that one. That's the easier one, yes. Oh, okay. So go ahead and go ahead and say the whole sentence there, Isabel. Number seven, read the whole thing. Ella va a convertirse en terapeuta. ¿Qué es eso? Close, closely. That's close. But you need the A in there. I try not puta. to say. Try not to say puta. Okay. 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 Anna, say this word again. Terapeuta. 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 Therapeuta. So, Isabel. Therapeuta. Good job. Good job. Okay. So, um, uh, how do I spell therapist? <laughs> there you go. Like the sounds. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I, I saw something today. I'm gonna. I saw a joke today. Okay, when you can't remember the word in English or Spanish, you become bilingual. You become bilingual. Good. Good. I word. love that word. <laughs> All right. Uh, she's going to become. Can you scroll down a little bit? I'm sorry, there's a few that I didn't get. Do you mind scrolling down a little bit? Sure. You wanna... um, I think after three, I, I didn't get them. So like four, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. No problem. You okay. are going to post this, aren't you? Sure. But yes, we will post it. Um, of course. Yeah. So Julie, go ahead, jump in and do the next one. Um, I'm still trying to get the whole uh, the hang, hang of this, but um, okay. So he is becoming uh, uh, okay. So um, el está. Um, let me see. Can I say haciendo or can I say haciendo uh, or volviendo? Volviendo, famoso. You got it. So just remember the reflexive and get that say in there. Get that get that say into the sentence there. Why would you use haciendo? Haciendo. Yeah. He's kind of making himself. Uh, uh, it's a because I thought has, has been... haciendo is, is doing, isn't it? Becoming, doing. I oh, said, okay. To do or to make, he's making himself famous. <clears throat> um, think of think of it like that. Perhaps he's making himself famous, becoming famous. Yeah, I would just I, say volviendo though. That's what <laughs> that's I why think, I asked. Yeah, I think that's safe. Um, I have I do have a question. I'm I'm actually like struggling to figure out. Okay, um, so one of the things that I I when I say things in Spanish and I'm saying, oh, to meet, I use conocer a lot. And then at times I'm corrected or uh, if I use cita for a meeting, I'm, you know, I'm corrected with reunion. Um, so sometimes I'm, I'm trying to figure out at what point do you use which verb? Because there's like, it's like three different verbs here. So I just, I guess I want to make sure I'm using the right verb. So is there like a pattern or some kind of structure to it? For haciendo and volviendo? Or for and, things like um, reunion and cita. No, for like uh, for becoming or or became or beco become become um, because there's convertir, um, hacer and volver. So I just want to make sure that it, um, is there a, 
Okay, uh, so for example, Julie, you can use any of those, okay? I don't think there is a rule, okay? okay. In, in some countries, you will hear more one word than others, okay? So, but for example, here, haciendo y volviendo, you can use either one and see the structure of the sentence is the same, but what if you use convertir? That was something we're saying. So, él se está... Um, convirtiendo, convirtiendo en una persona famosa. See, somehow you have to add something else for this to make uh, to make sense because if you only say él se está convirtiendo famoso, it makes no sense. It's, it's something that grammatically is incorrect in Spanish. So if you mm -hmm. want to use convertir, which is correct, you will have to modify a little bit the sentence to keep the uh, the, the same, um, it's not the meaning, it's the... Spirit of the kind of... The... Yeah, so see, él uh -huh. se está convirtiendo en una persona famosa. So in that case, you can use it, it's correct, but see how it changed here. But what about when the, when we had the sentence about um, se pone triste? What, when would you use um, ponerse? Ponerse is more of a emotional or physical, like a quick emotional or physical change. Okay. Yeah, él se puso triste porque... Se pongo feliz. Se pongo feliz. Se, se puso feliz cuando vio a su hijo. O se puso feliz con la película. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you. That's why we're here. But see, if you use that, that same thing uh, for, for for ponerse, and, and that will be for put something immediately, in, immediate. But if you say convertirse o volverse, se volvió una persona feliz o se hizo feliz, it will be, you can say se hizo feliz cuando se graduó, okay? And you will use that because it's not something instant. It's something... Uh, that happened through the years that is happy now because all the things that this person had to do to graduate, okay? And that took years, okay? So that's when you will, instead of put or se hizo, se puso, you use become, uh, is because the process that it takes to be that happy. And think, right, think about the English. He became... Um, I think to us in English, that has also a gradual connotation, usually, um, more often than not, right? It's, it's a process that, that happens. He became happy, uh, or. Well, I don't know if you, I would say in English or, um, uh, we were happy when our child graduated from college. But that's not became. Oh well, it's not became, but uh, the yeah. Well, the point is, we would, if if it's something know. that's instant, if it's an event and it's kind of instant, it's not. We we don't use became as often in that situation. No, we, we hardly use it at all. <laughs> we hardly use it at all. Okay. <laughs> Number nine. That's not true. Who's in Raquel? I want to hear from Raquel. Amigos. Okay. La okay. Se hicieron Se amigos hicieron en la universidad. universidad. Se hicieron amigos Se en la universidad. Friends in, eh, in the university. <laughs> <laughs> Yo creo que lo dijo. They, they became friends at, at the university. Yeah. Um, oh, or they became friends in college. It's not wrong what you said. Yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Thanks, Anna. Um, uh, so, uh, to me, in my English, um, I would say in college and I would say at the university. I don't, I don't. You do say at college sometimes, 
but I don't hear myself saying at university. Yeah. Um, Me too. At, at the university is more specific as to a certain, you know, yeah. Like I said at the University of South, you know, people were thinking at the University of South Carolina, for example. I agree. Whereas in college, just it's just pretty general. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Okay. <laughs> I love this word. I love this word. Pinocchio. Yeah. Just, Pinocchio. You know, that's such an Italian word. <laughs> I, I, could not, I, I could try it or. Um, somebody, um, el desafío de Pinocchio fue convertirse en un, um, en un muchacho. Apples turn into frogs and toads. What? What was that? What was that? No, I was, <laughs> I was, I was trying to see something. <laughs> Okay. I didn't even know. I thought I was on mute. Try it again, Carol. Okay. El desafío de Pinocchio fue convertir, convertirse en un muchacho um, real. No, that would be Roy of um, real. En verdad, uh, verdadero muchacho. Convertirse oh, un niño. In reality, that's de verdad. De verdad. A true, a true boy, a real boy. Puede decir un niño verdadero o no? No. No. De verdad. Uh, yeah. Um, I was. Can I ask to about the word goal? The, yes. when you, in a soccer game, they say goal. That's a, that's a different word from the way we're using it with Pinocchio. Yes, very different. That's yeah, and there's there's also meta. Um, Anna, how would we use when when do we use objetivo and meta and something or what else? It's the same. Um, okay, but um, it will be objetivo probably is more common. Okay, the objective. Um, Pinocchio's goal, Pinocchio's objective, Pinocchio's <clears throat> desire, Pinocchio's, you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways in both languages. I think objective is very, is more personal than meta. It's more impersonal or more general, I think. That's the difference. Like, mi objetivo es ser un niño de verdad versus la meta es ganar el juego. Okay, so it. it's very general, you know? Okay. I think that's the, the main difference. I think I used, I used the wrong word in the beginning. I used um, desafío, which would be challenge oh. rather right. than... Right. Mm -hmm. um, And what, what about, the, uh, you know, instead of uh, un niño de verdad, uh, can we say un niño real? Real? Royal, yes. <clears throat> can we say real, real? Yeah, real, real boy. It doesn't mean that in Spanish. Un niño real. Okay, so that's English, Spanish. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I don't think okay. in, for a person or people a real, so unas personas reales o le soy una persona real. It's like a real will be like I exist. Okay? I'm not a dream, I'm not something that people think I am maybe, you know, for real it will be yes, I'm I'm real, I exist. But de verdad okay. um it will be like like Bones and I don't know if you say that in English, carne y hueso, a person made of yeah. bones. Uh, do you say that? <laughs> yes, yeah, we well, do. We yeah. say, okay. We, we say use, uh, we use skin and bones. Flesh and skin and bones, flesh and bones. Flesh and, flesh and blood. We say, don't we say flesh and blood? What do we say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flesh and that's I think, yeah, we we don't say flesh and bones. We say flesh and blood, right? I've never heard that one. 
Okay. Oh my God, what do we say? I can't even remember what we say. It must be, it must be, um, okay. She's my flesh. My and blood. Carne de sangre. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on. <laughs> on say. Yeah, we do say flesh and blood. We do. Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. Nancy, in why a don't familiar you chime in way. here? You're sitting there in the background. You're kind of in the dark, it looks like. I don't know why. Um, um, su cara se puso roja de vergüenza. 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 Her became red from embarrassment. Red. Red color. R-E-D. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can do it. I can, I'll, I'm, I'm not that bad, but yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, became red um, and, you know, uh, for the Spanish speakers, her, her face got red. Got red, became red, got red. Okay. She blushed. <clears throat> right. Embarrassed. Right? Mm -hmm. From embarrassment. Sonrojo. Wow. Uh -huh. I love that. Okay. Anna does that all the time. <laughs> what happened? That's not true. <laughs> Yes. Sorry, I lost everyone there for a minute. What's that? Um, I lost everyone. Shut oh. down? I don't know. So, vergüenza, is that right? Yes, vergüenza. Okay. Vergüenza. So, the Z is an S sounds. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, read the whole thing, both uh, English and Spanish. Su cara se puso roja de vergüenza. Her face became or got red from embarrassment. That's it. Cool. She she blushed. Yes. Say this mm -hmm. word. Say sonrojo. Sonrojo. Say it again. Sonrojo. 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 Okay, everybody, see the accent on the last Sonrojo. O? So it's it's past tense. She blushed. It's past tense, right? So we got to get the accent on the last. That's it. Run, Rojo. Right. Say son. What is what does this sentence mean that Anna just typed? Uh, she turned red when he saw, he it. saw oh, it. one. She blushed when he's when when she she saw it oh, yeah. when she saw it oh, yeah, him him. him. <laughs> Oh, she she blushes. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Present tense. Yeah. It's yeah. present. Present tense. She blushes when she sees him. <laughs> Say that. He saw him. Saw him. Wouldn't it be v? v? Is that right? Yeah, but and and then also and blushes some, and, some saw him. and then. Also, we would, be, if it was past tense, we would be back to this option. What Anna was teaching us was the present tense. Yeah, and it's just the difference between sonrojo y sonroja. So, sonrojo is past tense, blushed. Sonroja is present tense. Present. She blushes. Say sonrojo. Say sonrojo. Cuando lo vi. Yes. Se sonroja. Uh, let me read it. Se sonrojo. Okay. Uh, me sonrojo fácilmente. Se sonroja cuando lo ve. So we're saying this is an AR verb. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's a tangent. <laughs> say if what I was saying is that if I wanted to make everything past tense, say son rojo cuando lo vi. Lo vio. Cuando lo, cuando lo vio. Ah, cuando lo ve, se sonrojó cuando lo ve. Cuando lo vio. Cuando lo vio. Se sonrojó cuando lo vio. Mm -hmm. She blushed when she saw him. If she blushed when she saw it, would it be the same as low? No, yeah. Make all right, hold on. Uh, I'm trying to make space here. We're, uh, there you go. Okie dokie. Good talk. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, does anybody could that also be she blessed when she saw it? Uh, could be, yeah. Could be. Yes. Good. good, thank you. Good distinction, thank you. You want to do the next one there, Dennis? I don't think so, thank you. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Who wants to do number 12, Doce? Raquel wants to do it, I bet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're up to it. Okay. Becoming a father made him a made made him a better person. That's right. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Great. Um, convertirse en padre lo hizo una mejor persona. Mm. I think. Yeah. Does that make sense to everybody? Kind of? No. Okay. Becoming. So he, he became, he converted into a father. Convertirse en padre. So that's why it's in padre instead of un padre. Yes. No. He turned into he, he turned into a father. That's a good question. Uh, keep in mind on that one when you use convertiste, uh, it's going to be within. So I right. just always think of it as instead of just convertiste, I always think of it as convertiste in turned into. Coming in. You know, whatever it is after that. Right. How would you say he became a father? When when he became a father, it made him a better person. When he became, cuando él se convirtió, and here's that uh, accent. Mm -hmm. he became it's a good father. question when he became a father he became a better person okay when he became a father he became a better person it's interesting that you use two different verbs for the same for the for became in this sense yeah. That is interesting. Uh, is let me let me write the English for whoever's uh, watching or looking at this, you know, next week. Um, okay. Um, and that's that's the same thing, right? Mm. Um, how does everybody feel about the comma there? Do you use it or not use it? I use it. I would use it. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Um, I, you know what? I have a question. Because it's an appendix clause. Hold on. It's a little hard to hear you, Julie. Again, please. Okay. I have a question about number 12. So when you're saying becoming or getting or something like that in the beginning of the sentence, you don't you don't um, conjugate the verbs? Not in this case, because you're it, you're using it like an infinitive. It's yeah. an it's the infinitive, you know, like you know, like yeah, you just you're basically just using the infinitive. Because you're not you're not saying that he became a father. You're just saying becoming a father, like Is to that, become yeah. a father, to become a father made him a better person. Basically, becoming, it's a noun at that time. Be, becoming becoming a father made him a better person. Remember when we went through gerunds a few weeks ago and where sometimes in English we use the ing, but in Spanish we use the infinitive? Mm. Right? Uh, Julie, uh, I remember can that, you give me I... an example of what you were thinking about the conjugation that you were thinking of? The, this oh, first example here. I I'm can, sorry. Julie. I could give you if you if you said buying a car made him a happier person. How would you say that? That's also a, a infinitive. Buying a car. Comprar un carro no lo hace una mejor persona. Comprar un carro. So it would still be the gerund. Mm -hmm. It would still be the infinitive. Oh, comprar, uh, buying a car for mm -hmm. himself, comprar, comprarse un carro, Com it would be in that, in that. Comprar un carro. Comprar un carro. I leave the meeting. Okay, adios. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, okay, are we, out, are we out of time? Uh, there's something very important here that I want to do. Um... So I'm gonna stop share. We might come back to it. Uh, don't don't worry. We might come back to this. If people have a little bit more time. But uh, how many people have started their Christmas shopping for their kids and grandkids? <laughs> Christmas is oh, coming. Whoa! You have to be kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay. Get ready. All right. You ready? All right. Check this out. Um, remember last year when Bryce wrote a book? Mm -hmm. Well, Anna wrote a book. Actually, she wrote seven books, and this is one of them. Wow. Wow. And, um, so, it's for kids. <laughs> yeah, this is for kids, yes. Of all ages. And um, <laughs> I want to spotlight this, okay? And so Anna has done uh, some coloring books to introduce kids to being bilingual and she's launching them on amazon like right now this week okay, okay. uh so uh you can go to amazon and uh i think this one's only like six dollars um uh, so uh yay anna good yay, job. thank you <laughs> Anna, what yeah, thank, you. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, Anna. Thank you. It's a it's a new project that I'm working on. I you know my kids are learning English, and um, I think it's important for the something that I regret is that I didn't do that early with my kids. They are learning for sure, but uh, they had to start <laughs> like when they were two or three, maybe before. But so this way kids can just start learning easy, um, easy words and they can learn how to write and coloring is fun, it's great. So I love this idea. Um, and my daughter gave me a list of 20 different books that I can create. Uh, I'm working on those. Um, what, are, what are the other ones? Uh, uh, Thanksgiving, dinosaurs, animals, unicorns. Um, okay, let's see if this mandala. See if this focuses uh, this area in here. Um, 
Thanks, Thanksgiving unicorns, dinosaurs, um, fruits and vegetables, animals, um, toys. What are sirenas? Sirenas. Sirenas. <laughs> sirenas. Uh, mermaid. Mermaids. Mermaids. Yeah. Sirenas. And, sirenas. Uh, at the farm and many more. Anyway, yeah. good job, Anna. BilingualLearningLab.com. Muy bueno. Uh, Thank so you. If you want, so, what's the young rapido? ¿Cuál es la palabra de mistletoe? Oh, mistletoe. Anna, mistletoe is that stuff you hang over your head and you yeah. kiss. Muer, muerdago. 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 Yes, and it's muerdago. Muerdago, and I think that's sweet. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Muerdago. She put it. We in. don't have that tradition here, but I believe it's very romantic. It is. All right. Um, so let me change back so I can say, I think we're at the end. Uh, we'll post this document. Um, good job. Good job, James, Bryce. Uh, Thank you. These are just incredible every time. Um, so obviously we have a lot more to learn. Um, we can come back to uh, this same topic next week or we can move on. Uh, does anybody have any ideas or requests? Uh, anything that you're struggling with? For the um, the share lingo dialogues, I have a lot of difficulty with the past uh, the different tenses of of um, dar and desir because I get them very confused, and uh, so it would be nice to have some sort of dialogue that we could do that would. Um, and highlight those two words. Maybe nobody else has the problem, but I certainly do. We all do. Yes, we all do. Uh, yeah, I think it's like, for example, when you, that's referencias, or cuando tú dices las referencias. Yeah, it, it can be get, a little bit confusing. The, yeah. When you get past the present tense, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, they're so similar. Yes, Carol, I, uh, yeah. I share the same problems that you have with those but, two words. Right now, you know. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Great. Good. Anybody else? Scott, we didn't hear a lot from you tonight. Any questions or do you want to go through any of these? Any Anything happen? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's all very good uh, for me. It's good practice. Um, okay. uh, excellent. Thank you. Well, you're, I hope you come back. Keep coming. Keep coming. Um, uh, all right. I have a suggestion. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I have a suggestion. Um, Okay, so sometimes when um, I was I was talking to someone today and and I said Manera, and I think um, Manera. I don't know if it was Manera or if it was después or antes, but the person corrected me and said day afterward. And then there's certain words that have day or ah or you know right behind them, and it's it's sometimes it's just so random, but. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you just have to study them or if you're just supposed to know that it's antes day or después day or but I mean I I think I you know I get thrown off by just day and ah uh, just the little things you know just those little words it makes a difference in the sentence and it could be wrong if you don't you know if you don't say it so I just I don't know if that could be a lesson maybe or you know um It'd be a long lesson, but yes. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know if it's just a matter of time or just studying or or just it's, trying to memorize everything. I think, but it, um, so this is a case where um, it's really hard to identify any particular rules. And mm -hmm. it's more usage and listening and hearing and what sounds right. Um, I think. You know, I think Bryce is at that point. And what he said today about uh, which one was it, Bryce, about the N, convertirse N, um, you know, N always goes with convertirse. And so he's, he thinks about that phrase. And I think um, uh, antes de, después de is mm -hmm. a similar thing. Uh, it just always, pretty much always has day. Um, yeah. 
Uh, you get uh, unless, it's, unless it's at the end, unless the word antes is at like the end of the sentence, sentence, right? Um, but I think that would be a great thing for us to practice, Julie, uh, just to get more listening practice or or focus on what is common. Um, I was going to say uh, to um, as far as like just say for example the the day in itself. You know, that's all the uses you know, that would be impossible just for one lesson. It, it just depends on, you know, certain certain verbs use day after, like burlarse de, you know, like to make fun, burlarse de, to make fun of something, you know. So that's just like convertiste in, you know, I, you don't just memorize burlarse remember memorizing with the day as far as the like antes de and después de yeah that if it's después de you know uh it just depends on what it is it just, i think it, maybe um julie it's kind of like the reflexive itself you know we when when we're at that point that we're just starting to learn the reflexive it's so hard to uh to know um with any certainty should i be using the reflexive or should i not be using the reflexive and you just have to hear it so many times um it, it might be kind of similar to that where uh if if we stop and think too much we drive ourselves crazy um so when when people correct you are, are you like practicing together or is it just in conversation? Um, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I spent three weeks in Mexico, so I, I was talking a lot. Um, I had, yeah. and I stayed with a host family that didn't speak English. Um, uh -huh. They said they spoke a little English, but they never said a word in English when I was there. Uh -huh. So <laughs> I think they were playing with me, but uh, <laughs> uh -huh. I, you know, they would correct me and I, course i appreciate that especially if it's immediate i say i don't want to say the wrong thing for a mm -hmm. period of time so i was very grateful but um yes that is it, it, you know it, it's a lot i mean there, there's a lot of you know and yeah. in, in spanish is it's supposed to be easier than english but it's it's a lot you know no it's, a lot it's not going on. no it's absolutely not um mm -hmm. spanish is much easier than english to read and write mm -hmm. um it's easy to um, get started in Spanish and be understood, but it's much more difficult to speak correctly. So we just yeah. have to keep going and going and going and gradually get better and better. Um, English is the easier language, but English is so difficult to read and write and pronounce. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so it's- So a many exceptions to yeah. the rule. And so many exceptions to yes, absolutely. Um, so how many for how many years have you been studying Spanish, Julie? Um, off and on, uh, about two. I, I, oh, I you're I doing great. Months. How it's many? I'm sorry, two. Months. She said two. Okay, so two. this is my point. I knew it would be something like that. Okay, so we study Spanish for at least eleven years in my country, okay? From first grade to the fifth uh, year of uh, high school, so 11 years. And I know a ton of people, a lot of them, okay? <laughs> that they are terrible at Spanish. And we are native mm -hmm. Spanish speakers, the why they write it, the, why, the, the, the way they conjugate verb or uh, pronounce some things, it's just really bad. And you with two years, your Spanish is amazing. You're pretty advanced. And for what you said in the uh, past weeks, all the correction that these people um, or what they suggest, it wasn't because you were wrong. It was because they say it in a different way. Because mm -hmm. the way that they say it, it's, it's different than the way you learn it. So you don't need to think about those corrections because I'm sure you are right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just uh, different ways to say the same thing. You know, so you yeah. shouldn't worry about that. If, if you were, during those three weeks, if you were able to communicate, uh, get your point across, and, and you were not just sitting in your room, you know, 
<laughs> doing nothing. Um, uh, what an experience. Um, you know, that I hope you came away with that saying, wow, I did it and I can do it and I can move forward. And I hope it was so motivational, you know, that ex that experience that it just wanted made you want to do more and more and more. What else did you do there when you were in Mexico, Julie? Um, well, I, um, I communicated with uh, my aunt Pintriona, but um, that's my host family. Um, and um, I went on a, a couple of day trips to Cholula and, oh God, what was the name of the other place? Tio Tijuan. Tio Tijuan. Tijuan, you see. I'm mm -hmm. the, pyra the pyramids? Yes. Um, there's a lot of pyramids. They kind of start looking the same after a while. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> I, um, for... They were getting ready for uh, Dia de, de um, Muertos. Uh -huh. So um, I kind of walked around um, the square and it was really nice. Uh -huh. um, and I, I missed the like kind of celebration, but it was nice. Uh -huh. How did, nice. did you make arrangements to do this? Um, I actually um, went through um, a program in Puebla. They have a school. Um, oh, um, and they, yeah, you're able to, they, they make it, they arrange it where you can stay with the host family or you could just stay on your own or, but I wanted to, I like to talk to people and I'm, I'm very sociable. So I, I liked, um, and I had the most amazing so, uh, family. They were so fantastic. Excellent. Um, You'll be, I hope you're friends with them for life, you know? Um, would they I, try to learn? Oh, okay. You didn't speak much English. No, no. But I, they you know, sometimes I, I would Spanish get a little, better. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I would get frustrated though, because I, I try to speak in, in Spanish, like I speak in English and it's not possible. So yes. I have to figure out other words to yes. work around. And that's it's not possible it. yet. Um, you're going to get there. Uh Absolutely. You will get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I didn't quit Spanish every other month, I probably would be there. Well, I will suggest to you that when you come to the meetings, instead of speaking in English, speak Spanish. <laughs> Cuando, because sí, cuando estás aquí, yeah, habla en because it's a good opportunity for you to practice because we yeah. are all learning either English or Spanish and we are going to help you if you need it. I don't think that we be the case, but you know, you can practice. Uh, no tengo confianza cuando uh, hablando uh, español en público. Then you have to do it. That's <laughs> the main local... reason for you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will I will suggest you to do that. It will be great for you, you know, after a couple of weeks, it will be great. Okay, well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Um, have you changed your phone to Spanish and your GPS and done all of your computer and all of that stuff? You know, my uh, old that, phone was don't, don't change. I don't, <laughs> I'm not really it's very it, difficult. <laughs> not the computer. Don't change no, your computer. Or the GPS is dangerous. <laughs> the GPS isn't as bad, but I was, I had uh, I did my program and somebody was trying to help me. And he said, uh, change this back to English or I'm not going to help you. <laughs> Right. Yes. Okay. You, you know, on the GPS, a good thing to do. Well, at least I think a good thing to do. Um, if I was to use GPS in Spanish, is try it on some places that you already know where they are. <laughs> right. What is that price? <laughs> uh, because it's still you can still start relating the words to because you know what the word you you know you can start making the relations. If you know if. if if you know you don't decide just to do it to wherever you go, <laughs> I think the GPS is pretty easy. Yeah, turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right, and merge. You know, yeah. Yeah. That's not too bad. But yeah, I haven't always ended up in the right place. But all right, everybody, um, this hey, is great. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, no, I just want to say something real quick on the uh, examples. If you're talking about um, like a a position in a church or like a nun or a, a monk or like a priest, I would use hacerse for that one. Uh, just 
and you know, oh. you, you know I guess you, you know tell us why you know what I I honestly I don't know why but that's every time I hear like you know you know you know say so say so monha you know say you know I always hear with this that's just something I noticed as far as the 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 um becoming you know the verse to describe becoming now now I'm not saying that I don't know for sure if you have to necessarily use that I don't know or if you become a, a religion you know you become a Catholic I think I put that in 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 uh the examples if you become a certain religion of religion after you get married or something I use I've only heard I say say now maybe someone else has heard okay 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 that's cool then yeah okay Oh, interesting. So this number thirteen. Seis monja, seis monja. Se monja. Uh -huh. Oh, seis catolico, se volvió catolico. Okay, well that that's good. Now I know that. So. Now you have expanded <laughs> your knowledge. Mm -hmm. She became Catholic. Okay, mm -hmm. after she got married. Okay. Only to get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> then what? It's not a good business. And then she became part of the All right. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody. Oh, it's so fantastic. Adios. I, just, <laughs> I wish I could absorb it all. Oh, just one step at a time. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank, thank you. you. James and Anna, thank you. Chao, chicos. Bye bye. Chao. Adios. Muchas gracias, todos. Mm -hmm. Adiós.